The largest robot reveal, Premiere Night, is back on Sunday, February 23rd at 6 p.m. Eastern. Submissions are due on Friday, February 21st. We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Down here at the Sussex Mini Regional, checking out team number 3418, Robo Riot. I'm here with Jonathan, Olivia, and Logan. We're going to check about some of this machine here on behind the bumpers, including, uh, of course, their uh, elevator climber, uh, an interesting intake, uh, some custom fabrication on the spot here as well. So, Olivia, I want to start off with you. Uh, you're telling me about uh, some of your uh, custom fabricated frame, and then take us into uh, some of your indexing as well. Okay, so um, our frame is uh, 90 gauge aluminum sheet metal so it's all made by CAD it is fabricated all in house so we plasma cut it and we bend it all in house so our next big part is our lovely delivery system here from our ball mech so as you can tell it's all TIG welded aluminum all by a high school student so um, if you come over here you can watch it get brought in how the ball will get brought in and it'll get shot out the other end so uh, there's a lot of sensors on there so I'll let Logan take over that part so we got all sorts of different sensors on this year's robot. We have a bunch of prox or uh, photo eyes going through here to tell the position where the ball is on inside of the delivery system. And then we also in the front have a camera that'll give us the position of a power cell that's in front of us so we can position the robot accordingly to what that'll give us. And then we also have a fork sensor on the bottom to detect when our climber, when that goes up and down, what its minimum value is so that way we don't jam back into the frame. So something I want to ask you about, you talk about some of these sensors on the side here. Can we talk about, can we put a power cell through and can you maybe talk about uh, what some of the sensors are doing during that time as well? So what we can do is we can bring in the power cell, we can stop at different ones of the photo eyes, go back down, and then that'll index and see how many we have and then adjust as we get more power cells that come through. So how do you use that to prevent power cell jamming? It's a big thing this year, right? The, very sticky uh, with the uh, power cell, so how have you use that to uh, help optimize? Yeah, so when the power cells come in, what we can do is we can run the delivery to push it up. So I'll just quick push this down. So we can run that to pull it up, and then we can pull in another one while running the delivery as the intake's going in. So that way the power cells are fed in at a constant rate rather than just kind of here and there and getting all jumbled around. All right, I want to wrap up with this uh, elevator over here as well, too. Of course, it looks like we got one of those uh, detachable ones on here. Tell us about some of the design work on this and the thought process behind it. So I was pretty much in charge of designing the climber and coming up with a prototype for that. So we wanted to go simple, so we uh, started building with 80-20. And we, we have to be able to bring the robot up to it. So we use constant force springs to make this simple. So the, so the springs pull the climber up when you release string. And then the string is just able to draw to draw the climber back down when the robot needs to climb and in order to keep the robot up uh, we also found a really simple solution we have right here a gear and this piece of rack right here gets pushed into it with a pneumatic cylinder and then it can't be moved by the weight of the robot uh, Robo Riot, thanks for telling us about your team. Love to see some of these different uh, systems working. Of course, a uh, very nice aesthetic design choice as well, too. Uh, so once again, 3418 here at the Sussex Mini Regional. Uh, good luck during this competition season. Can't wait to see how your robot does. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.